statistics indicate the one mile stretch of speedway between campbell and euclid is one of the most dangerous in town there were four hundred thirty accidents there over the past two years compared to one hundred eighty seven for the same mile on broadway and one hundred sixty eight on grant road observers and frequent users of speedway might suspect that most of those accidents involved pedestrians and bicycles but this is not the case maybe we thought it was the best plan for tucson we also thought it was pretty expensive and I think that that's a big issue. About 14 businesses and four homes would be displaced by the tunnel. The projected cost is $35.8 million. The project would be paid for by bonds approved by voters in 1984 that would be funded through a user tax on gasoline. The University of Arizona would finance about 20% of the tunnel over the next 11 years. The costs for this project, they're now real out of line in comparison to some of the other major type of controlled access roadways. I think a lot of people will look at the number and they'll see a big number and their first reaction is, are there other things we can spend that money on? Well, the fact is, this is money that is already there. It's waiting for us to spend. Despite the consensus evident today between the city, the university, the neighborhoods, and the businesses, there is still a certain amount of suspicion and skepticism in the community. It will be the challenge of the supporters of the Speedway Tunnel to convince the voters to approve the idea on the May 6th ballot.